want to turn a 2D object into a 3D object, you will find your solution in this video. Hey guys, it's Jim from Illustrator How. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your 2D design into a 3D design. So if that sounds interesting to you, please keep watching this video. All right guys, so I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to create a speech bubble and I will show you how to turn it into a 3D speech bubble in Illustrator. So select the ellipse tool. If you want to follow along this example, select the ellipse tool and I'm going to create an ellipse and I will switch the pen tool using a shortcut P. Just creating a speech bubble like this and I'm going to combine these two shapes using the pathfinder. Just quickly edit it a little bit. Oh, and I'm going to change the color to um, grayish, maybe something like that. All right, and then I'm going to add circles inside, change it to white. Oops, I'm going to align them using the align panel. Then I'm going to group these. Okay, so I'm going to make a copy of this to show you two examples. So, all right, so what you can do is you can group everything. I'm not sure what you are creating, but in this case, or in some cases, um, it doesn't work so well if you group the object. Well, I'm going to just show you how it works so that you understand what I mean. I'm going to zoom in everything. All right, so once you have your object created, you can go to the overhead menu window, 3D and materials to open the 3D panel. There are different types of 3D effects, but I'm going to choose the inflate to show you the example, which I think is the most realistic uh, 3D effect that you can have. Okay, so I'm going to select this um, speech bubble that I just created and go ahead and click inflate. Here's the thing that I was talking about. Sometimes it doesn't work 100% uh, as you expect it because you see these circles inside. I don't want them to show it like this. Um, so for example, in this case, I have them separately and if I just do this twice It's going to have a, a better effect. However, I do need to adjust the lighting as well So, okay, I'm going to show you in this example how to adjust the lighting and everything So first of all, I will go to the materials and the default one is this one base materials and you can feel free to choose any materials you want from the 3D panel. I'm just going to keep this one. The only thing I would change here is metallic uh, value. I'm going to make it increase it a little bit so it looks really kind of like a balloon-ish but more realistic. Around this. Something like that, it should be fine. Okay, I'm going to change here a little bit as well. See, so it really looks like it's so real. It's like popping out. Um, you can just compare to this one and uh, go back to the lighting settings. So you can choose any of the light source. Um, here you can choose a standard that was um, the default one, or you can choose, yeah, depending on what you want. And you can also adjust the intensity here, more light, less light, rotation, uh, where the light source you want it to be. Maybe a little bit less shadow, something like that. Make it softer as well. Yeah, it's really up to you. And you can add shadows, but I'm just going to leave it as it is and change this as well, a little bit more intense. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it. It looks pretty good. And the final step is, is to render the 3D um, object. So go ahead and select uh, one by one. So go ahead and click uh, render with ray tracing. Okay, so once you render, if you don't like how it looks, you can keep adjusting the areas of the lighting, intensity, or same thing, you can render this part as well, and then adjust intensity. Okay, yeah, so that looks pretty good. And that's how you can turn a 2D object into 3D in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so here's a trick and I will show you with one more example. Let's say I'm creating a heart this time. So I'm going to select the rectangle tool and um, create a square. 
I'm going to use one of the method to create a heart. If you want to learn how to create a heart in Adobe Illustrator, I do have a video as well showing you the step by step. So if you're interested, you can find the link in the description below. All right, so here's a trick. Now you see a 2D heart. I'm going to use the same method to make it 3D using the inflate effect and adjust it a little bit. So the trick is once you turn an object into 3D, I mean, once you turn your 2D object into 3D, you can still use any of the vector editing tools to edit it. So for example, as you can see here, maybe it's not so smooth. Um, I'm going to select this. You can select your object and choose any of the vector editing tool to edit it. You are making changes to your 3D objects using the vector editing tool. So yeah, that's a trick that I want to talk about. Another thing you can do is you can use this method to turn your 2D character into a 3D character. So if you are interested to learn more, I do have an article talking about how to design a character in Adobe Illustrator, uh, whether it's 2D or 3D. So I would definitely have the link in the description below. So feel free to check that out. That's it. Hope you had fun making your 3D design with me in this tutorial. So if you like this video, if you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give me a thumb up and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future tutorials.